for Nightbeat. And good evening, New Mexico. Everywhere we look, there is a new emphasis on fighting violent crime in the metro, from our local law enforcement to state lawmakers to the governor's office. Now our New Mexico State Police are taking another proactive approach, saturating the metro with more officers. Julie Frendak rode along with one of those officers today for a firsthand look at that effort. And Julie, State Police somewhat have free reign in Bernalillo County at this point. Yeah, they do. Officers are encouraged to do anything they believe could help stop violent crime. That could mean assisting the sheriff's office in the South Valley one day and APD in the International District the next. Today, we saw a focus on I-25. 523 St. Com traffic. Officer Nick Chavez has been with New Mexico State Police for about six years. This is a dream of mine. I've, I've wanted to be a police officer since I was uh, a little kid. And so for me, I don't feel like I work a day in my life. I, I love making a difference and helping someone have a better quality of life. Making that difference looks different every day. Today we're going to be patrolling I-25 and conducting high visibility traffic enforcement. I'm looking for everything on our roadways that would be a hazard of texting and driving, no seat belts, speeding, roadways lanes if someone's failing to maintain the traffic lane. It doesn't take long to find an offender. Just traveling back behind you on southbound Interstate 25, I observe you not using a, a turn signal as required by New Mexico state law. Chavez says stops like this are an opportunity to educate. It is a traffic violation, so we're just trying to educate drivers today to, to be a little bit more safer on the road while they're traveling. But not all of them end with just um, a warning. No traffic stops the same. I'm always uh, looking at all the factors upon a traffic stop when I speak to a driver or the occupants of the vehicle, and sometimes that traffic stop can lead to other criminal factors. Officer Chavez is stationed in the Albuquerque district, but has a little more help these days from officers outside the metro. The agency recently announced its third operation in Bernalillo County in the past five years. I'm personally very grateful for the assistance. Our officers work very well together, so with the, definitely the other officers on patrol, we're able to make more of a difference. He says the availability of officers matters. So I'm pacing this guy. Uh, he is speeding. He's him around 74 when he was coming up, so I'm going to make a traffic stop on him. More on the streets means more to make traffic stops, uh, respond yeah, to calls for service, and proactively fight crime. I-25 northbound in Montgomery, New Mexico boy John Frank George 23. It's going to be on a white and Dodge pickup on oh, no, occupants. Sometimes you'll have your criminals where they're either smuggling narcotics, guns, things like that, um, where they're driving covertly trying to avoid law enforcement. So that's why it's important to us where we take everything into consideration when we make a stop um, and just talk to everybody um, the same. Chavez couldn't say how long the extra help will be in the metro, but he'll take it while it's here. It's not just a single agency problem. I think if all of us can work together, we'll definitely make a difference. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham ordered more state police officers to help in Albuquerque as part of her original public health order last month. That order expires on October 6th. Meanwhile, a federal judge is scheduled to make a final decision this Tuesday on whether to uphold the parts of the order banning open and concealed carry in Bernalillo County. Tessa? We'll be monitoring that for sure. Okay, Julie, thanks for the behind the scenes look there.